We're now going to look at this public access bleed control kit. Now this kit here is a pro trainings kit, but also it's been developed with the Fajodi project, which who are a knife crime charity. Now the idea of these kits is they're placed in prominent locations, uh, in vehicles, anywhere there's possibly going to be a knife attack, a terrorist incident, or any instance where catastrophic bleeding could occur. So these kits are being put into shops, restaurants, pubs, railway stations, and also in the external bleed control kits or um, in with the AED unit. So they're accessible to the general public. That said, the contents of this kit are absolutely ideal for any other location. Uh, you could use them in the workplaces if you're doing um, outdoor pursuits and you need something that's got a lot of equipment in it in a small pouch. So things like forestry, stuff like that, this kit will work. So the kit itself um, is in the bag, it's red, so it's very obvious to see. And when you then open it up, there's two key sides to it. Uh, on one side, we've got pairs of gloves so that they're easy to access. You can literally just get the gloves and pull those out. And also very easy to access is this. It's the Citizen Aid Pocket Card. Um, and what this does is it very easily and quickly in, in picture format tells you what to do with different types of emergency you're likely to come across. Um, so down here you can see all the different areas of where it covers. So these would cover things like knife attack, uh, gun attacks or um, chemical attacks or something where someone's using a car as a weapon. So what you can do is look very easily along here uh, the different areas and also the treatment that you're likely to, to have to do for that person. So that card's very easy to access. Sisters and Aid also have got an app that you can use as well um, instead of the card or as well as the card. So on this side we've got uh, trauma dressings. Uh, there's two of those dressings on there. And on this side here we've got a few different products. One is some Stelox gauze and this is used for packing a wound in a case of catastrophic bleeding. It's a hemostatic dressing so it reacts with blood to block the hole up. Um, we've also got a resuscitation aid, uh, so we did have to do resuscitation, you've got a face shield to put over the patient. Um, we have a uh, rapid stop tourniquet, now this is a very very easy to use commercial tourniquet. Um, you pop it around the limb, it's very fast to put on and rather than some tourniquets that you have to physically turn the uh, windlass to tighten them, this has just got a literal lever action, you lift it up and it will ratchet it on. Extremely fast and easy and effective way of putting a tourniquet on. Um, we have a seal in there just so that you can seal the bag shut. So it's a tamper proof seal. So if someone uh, has broken the seal, then you know you need to check the contents. Uh, there's also some shears so you can cut away clothing. Um, there's a marker, and the marker's there so you can note the time that a tourniquet has been applied or hemostatic agent has been applied. And you can write on the patient or write on some notes somewhere. And finally, in here, there's a silver foil blanket because it's really important in the case of a catastrophic bleed to maintain the patient's um, temperature. Because if the temperature starts dropping, then that can affect the body's ability to actually heal. If you're interested in any more information about these kits uh, or you want to place them in your community, then contact us. Uh, on supplies at protrainings.uk. Um, also, you can see these products on our website, which is firstaidonline.co.uk.